To this point, every link in our memory chain has been forged by individuals gathering together in conscious community, staring at us with intention, or in some cases, kibitzing anonymously from a distance. With a circuit camera, the highest elevations in even a small city could create a stunning panorama, harvesting thousands rather than dozens of lives. Somewhere down there, people just going about their business unseen, unconnected, and ripe for the imagination. This photograph was taken from the bell tower of the Rose Orphans Home in Terre Haute, Indiana. At six o'clock every morning, the bell would ring to wake the residents here in Boys Cottage Number 1. It was a short walk in dawn's early light to the barn and the farm fields, where the boys' daily chores would produce milk and vegetables to be prepared in the Rose kitchen. Three complete meals a day served in the Rose dining room, every table set by the girls, every meal eaten in silence. The popularized image of the orphan, a child without living parents, was true for only 10 to 20 percent of the orphan population. For most of the children placed at the Rose home, recent memories of being a son or daughter, nephew or niece, collided with the fact that somewhere beyond the borders of the orphanage were adult family members who still knew them that way. By some measures, the children at Rose were considered quite fortunate. In 1929, the Rose Home was selected as the finest orphanage in America. The beauty of the buildings and the grounds had even inspired a series of hand-tinted postcards. In 1912, one even made its way to the tiny beach community of La Jolla, California. Same country, different planet. Here, the children at the country's finest orphanage are gathered in front of a fountain designed by Indiana-born sculptor Janet Scudder. Clean, well-dressed, hardly a smile to be found. At one time, there were over 1,000 public and private orphanages in the United States. With the growth of foster care and the social safety net, they began to disappear one by one. You might say the best was saved for last. The Rose Orphans Home would remain open until 1950. The buildings were abandoned, then demolished. Eventually, the orphans grew into adults, allowing for a time somewhere in the near future when all of their memories will vanish as well. <laughs>